dear students today we are going to learn very interesting lesson that is lesson number 18 look before you leap leap means to jump long long ago there lived two little frogs in a pretty little pond colorful water lilies grew in the pond fishes darted about and tiny insects buzzed around the pond was full of life buzzed means making a low continuous humming sound darted means moving quickly and suddenly the two frogs were very close friends they had plenty to eat in the pond all the day long they played about jumping from lily pad to lily pad and diving headlong in the pond they were the happiest little frogs in the world lily pad means one of the floating leaves of a water lily diving headlong means diving into water first and then the rest of the body the frogs loved the rainy season but the rainy season does not last forever the rain stopped and the weather became hot still there was a lot of water and life in the pond there was nothing to worry about in winter the frog friends found cozy little places at the edge of the pond they spent most of their time sleeping and resting cozy place means comfortable and warm places soon it was summer now the days become very very hot with the hot sun blazing in the sky the pond began to dry without water the lilies dried up there were very few insects to be found the frog friends were worried blazing means very hot Do you think the whole pond will dry up? Looks like it," said the other. "What shall we do then? How shall we live? We must search a place where there is plenty of water and food for us." You are right. It is hard work traveling to this hot sun but there is no other way come let us start the sooner the better if we travel together the search will be easier so the frogs left the dry drying pond and began to look for the watery place they hopped and hopped and became very tired just then one of them saw a well in the distance they rushed to the well the well was built in stone 
and had a high circular wall. The frogs hopped onto the wall and peeped inside. The well was quite deep, but there was a lot of water still left at the bottom of the well. The friends began to jump of joy. We are so fortunate. Thank God that we found this well. Our problem is solved. Our search has ended. We have found a new home. Let's jump in together. One, two. Fortunate means lucky. Wait friend, this well is so deep and there's water left only at the bottom. But we can surely dive in, however deep the well may be. Diving is our speciality. Why do you hesitate? It occurred to me that this well is also drying up. If it dries up completely, we will have to leave this well too. I agree. But why do you hesitate now? Hesitate means to pause before doing something. It's because I see a problem. We can easily dive into the well. But what if the well dries up? Can we jump so high that we reach the top of the wall? Shall we be able to leave the well like we left the pond? You are right, friend, said the other frog. I had not thought of this. It's good that you could foresee this problem. Let's not leap inside. Let's continue with our search. And so the two little frogs hopped on to look for a safe shelter. How well it is said, look before you leap. Foresee means think about the future situation. So students, I hope you all have enjoyed this lesson. We have seen in this lesson how the frog take the right decision at the right time before jumping into the well. He thought that if water is dried in the well, they will not able to jump outside from the well. So whenever you think to do something new, Think before you do that thing. So it is told in this proverb, look before you leave. Means think about the future situation before you do something new. Thank you.